Hi, I'm Sherry Silk, S-H-E-R-R-Y-S-I-L-K, CEO of the Humane Society of Tampa Bay. Last year, we took in 8,431, mostly dogs and cats, but some rabbits and guinea pigs and some pocket pets as well. And what we're seeing oh, as a community up until last year, the intake between us and um, Hillsborough County Pet Resource Center, which is our municipal shelter, has been going down, which is good because we've put lots of programs in place so that people can keep their pets. But in the last year, it seems like it's ticked upwards again. Um, there's a variety of reasons why people can't keep their pets. Um, and obviously there's some va very valid reasons and people try to find homes for their pets and that's why we're here to, to help those animals um, if, it, if at all possible. What, one of the things that's frustrating to work in a shelter is when people get rid of their animals that have been with them for a long time, like senior pets. And what we have found is that oftentimes as, as the animal gets older, there's lots of different reasons, you know, they need health issues, medical problems that people just can't go, uh, afford to go with the, um, with the going rate for veterinary care. We have a affordable pet hospital. I think that's helped. But oftentimes we are left with, you know, 10, 11, 12 year old animals that may end up having to be euthanized if, if the, you know, the animal is too sick or too injured to, um, to go up on adoption. So it's, it's frustrating, but we're trying to be proactive here at the Humane Society of Tampa Bay. We have lots of different programs that try to keep people with their pets, one being affordable pet care. We have a hospital that sees over 40,000 dogs and cats every year at very affordable rates. We have a free food program here, so people could come in at the end of the month, especially senior citizens that they're running out of dog food or cat food, we'll give them some food so they can keep their keep their pet. We have an animals program, which is a Meals on Wheels for pets, so that people that are homebound or disabled don't have to turn their, their dog or cat in, that the volunteers come out and give them a month's worth of food so they can keep their pets. So we're trying to be as proactive as we can to um, try to keep those numbers down and trying to keep people with their pets with their people so they don't have to be turned into a overcrowded shelter.